up potty people and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is my top five favorite products under $5. So I just did my top 10 under $10. So we're narrowing the scope just a little bit more. These products are so amazing and so high quality and a lot of them don't really get talked about. Like they're not very hyped up and they're hidden gems in my opinion. And let me tell you, finding products under $5 nowadays, it ain't easy, but we're just gonna jump right on into it. So if you like videos like this, where we talk about affordable products, then make sure you give it a thumbs up to let me know that you wanna see more like it. And please subscribe to my channel and join my community. I would love to have you here. And click that notification bell and turn that on because I've had several people tell me they're subscribed, but they don't even see my videos in their news feed. So they just thought I wasn't uploading. So I'm uploading. You just have to turn that bell on because YouTube is a stubborn little biatch. And without further ado, let's talk about my top five favorite products under $5. The first thing I have is a foundation adjuster. So I do have two, but there's one that I use a lot more religiously than the other one. I do want to talk about both just because there are different shade options in each one. So these are the e.l.f. mix to match adjuster drops. So these are $4 on the e.l.f. website. And to my knowledge, that's the only place you can find these. So they have the undertone adjusters and this is in the shade yellow. They also have one called warmth, which is orange. I also have the foundation shade adjuster in the shade bronze, but they also have lighten and deepen. But the yellow is something that I use so religiously because I have like a golden olivey undertone and to find olivey golden like warmer undertones in the, in the drugstore especially it's really tricky because they just don't get it right. This is what I like to use to mix in with foundations that are just a little bit too cool or a little bit too neutral. This is awesome for making foundations more gold or more olivey undertone even though it's not like an actual olive kind of shade mixer like it has like an olivey tint to it when i say it's pigmented you literally like most of the time i just use whatever residue is left over around the little squeeze tube like most of the time i don't even have to squeeze out more product because it's so pigmented a little bit goes a very very long way so, like maybe you have a really expensive foundation that only works for your skin tone in the summertime or in the winter time you can use products like this and especially where they're cheap like you can make so many uses out of like one foundation or one concealer like they're so beneficial So I know a lot of people complain about not finding foundations that are perfect for them or brands that don't have a very inclusive Shade range. So I like products like this that kind of make it to where you can pretty much wear whatever Next thing I have are some lip liners and these are probably one of my favorite lip liner formulas I've usually talked about the ColourPop lip liners, which are also very affordable. They're like five or six dollars as well I've talked about those so many times though, like I've run it in the ground. So I want to show some love to some more lip liners because I use these, if not more, just as much as the ColourPop ones. So this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. I have so many of these. These are $4. You can find these at Ulta. You can find some shades at Walmart, wherever NYX is sold. Usually I don't like like the wooden type pencil like this that you have to sharpen and it's just, usually they end up being very dry and they tug and they're just not very creamy. These complete opposite. But I do feel like the suede matte formula is a lot better than the original, what is this called? Just the original lip liner formula. So like this is what the old one looks like. And it's the same thing, same concept. It's just like the wooden pencil. Um, they have pretty shades as well. They have a lot of shades, but these are just so much more creamy and they have a really, really nice shade selection. They stay put so well and they're called suede matte. I mean, pretty much all lip liners are matte. Like if you don't like matte lipsticks or anything, don't think that this is going to be Oh, super drying and mattifying like all lip liners are matte but Los Angeles this one right here is literally one of the most universally flattering shades and it's one of those shades that like you look at it and you think oh I probably couldn't wear anything but like a purple with it or a berry tone lipstick I wear this with just about everything whether it be a nude like a really really pale nude or a mauve a pink a berry right up to like a red I mean it looks so dark and it looks so off-putting, but it's such a nice shade. You have to give it a shot, like give it a chance. I think you'll be very impressed. I got my mom onto a shade like this because she was wearing nudes, like a nude lipstick with like a nude lip liner. And I just don't like nude lipsticks with nude lip liners. Like I feel like you need more contrast and more definition. I feel like this is the type of shade that would look good on every skin tone. And it's just, like I said, so universally flattering with a lot of different lip shades. And then I also love soft spoken. So it's a tad bit, lighter it's just gonna look good with so many different things like nudes mauves pinks berries next up is the believe beauty in the tropics bronzing powder in the shade havana sunset this is five dollars at dollar general whenever i first started using it like whenever i first looked at it it looked really light this is something that i was going to use as like a finishing touch like almost like the hourglass ambient lighting powders but this is an actual bronzer so i don't know what i was thinking at that point but 
yeah, I actually put this all over my face as a finishing setting powder that day. So yeah, not the best move, but I love this as a bronzer. It is such a pretty color and it's just, it has a really nice like satiny finish to it. And I know that we've all been accustomed to matte finish bronzers and that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But if you want a really natural sun kissed, I was out in the sun all day. I was out on the beach. Like I got a really nice tan. A satin finished bronzer is the best way to go in my opinion. I love this one. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's just a perfect neutral bronzer. And it just gives me such a, a beautiful warmth. Like it just makes me look so healthy and it's not overly pigmented. Like it's pigmented and it's really soft and smooth, but it's more of a buildable formula. So you really can't go overboard. And here's what it looks like when you swatch it. So as you can see, it does have a slight sheen to it, but it's not shimmery. Like it's not glittery or shimmery. It's not going to look muddy or anything, but I just love this shade so much. I love this formula. I don't know how inclusive their shade range is because like I said, whenever I first looked at this, I thought this was like super light and like looking at the other in the tropics bronzing powders, they looked almost like highlighters. Like, Oh, they're, they're uh, marketing it as a bronzing powder, but it's actually a highlighter. Why do they do that? But yeah, I would like to revisit that and see, uh, See if my pupils were playing tricks on me that day too. So the next product is something that I've had for a little while now and I'm so excited about this. This isn't a makeup product, but this is something that is so effective and it's from a brand I've never heard of before. So this is the Nail Aid One Minute Artificial Nail. So this is just a base and a top coat for your nail polish. And I just found this one day when I was perusing the nail aisle at Walmart. Like this was on the very bottom shelf. They have probably five or six different formulas. They have a biotin formula, a cuticle enhancer, strengthener top formula. They have several different options to choose from, but they're all under $4. I think they're like $3.88. But I have such a rough time with my nail polish because, you know, like I don't paint my nails a whole lot. You guys have probably noticed that in, you know, past years, but it's usually because they just chip off so fast. And it's just like, what's the point? And then I also have the problem where I can paint my nails at six o'clock in the day. Okay. And then, you know, be really, really careful and not, you know, make sure not to hit anything or, you know, bump them into anything. And then I wake up the next day and they have textures all in them. Like it's like they never completely dry. So the whole claim of this stuff is that it's supposed to give you like the artificial nail look. But in my opinion, it gives you a gel manicure look. It makes your nails so shiny and its claim is that it's supposed to make them last for up to a week. I think like seven days. I'm pretty sure is what it says. I usually end up like chipping them off, like picking them off after like three days. That's usually the, the point where I'm just like, okay, I need a new nail polish, but they would last a lot longer if I didn't pick them off. And if I actually applied this way I was supposed to. So you're supposed to apply like two base coats. I, I just, I'm to the point where I just do one now, but you apply two base coats. You let each one dry. Then you go in with your nail polish and then you apply this as your top coat as well. Then you're also supposed to apply it periodically, like every two days, every three days, something like that to prolong them even more. Because if you don't touch them up, like if you don't keep applying top coats every few days, it probably won't last the entire week or, you know, however long you can get them to last. But not only does it make your nails so shiny and it makes the nail polish like chip free and just very smooth looking. It makes them dry so fast. It doesn't even claim that. Like there are no claims on it about making your nail polish dry faster. Like if you want you apply it as a top coat, but it makes them dry so fast. And I'll wake up the next day. I won't have the little textures in my nails. They'll look like I just went to the nail salon. Like this stuff is pure magic. This is actually my second bottle. And the last product I have is something that I know I've talked about so many times on my channel. I've probably beat a dead horse with this, but I also feel like, you know, talking about products repeatedly, it proves that I love them. So these are the ColourPop Press Single Eyeshadows. And these, for whatever reason, never get talked about and it makes me so upset. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. Like, if not my absolute favorite formula. These, in my opinion, are better than the formula that's in the palettes that ColourPop makes. It may not be different at all. I just feel like these are pressed differently. I feel like we're kind of at a point where people are more into pre-made palettes now. You know, people aren't really into creating their own palette and single eyeshadows. I love single eyeshadows. Like, I love putting together my own palettes and just being creative. But most of the time with palettes, like pre-made palettes, I like three, four, five shades, but I don't get use of every single shade. So I love creating my own palettes like this. And this is from Shop Miss A, this uh, Z palette or whatever you want, this empty palette. So it's only like $10 or so, $7, something like that. But 
it can get expensive. I understand that. But the shades are absolutely beautiful and they're so unique. The formula of ColourPop Press Singles in general, they're so extremely pigmented but not overly pigmented where it's hard to work with. But they're actually a little bit dry. Like to the touch, they're a little bit dry, which I like. I don't like a super, like I like buttery shadows. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes they can be too much to the point where it like, it, it all just falls on your face um, or you're tapping off most of it whenever you tap off the excess. But these have very, very good adherence and they just last all day long. I have no wear issues. I never have to worry about blending issues or anything like that. They're just so smooth and soft. And if you guys would like for me to talk more about ColourPop Press Singles, like my favorites or something, I can do that one day. I just don't really feel like people are super into press singles. So that is it for my top five favorite products under $5. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What are some of your favorite products under $5? It's, it's kind of hard. Like if you start thinking about it, it's actually pretty challenging because uh, th those prices just keep climbing and getting more and more bougie. I'm just not about that life. I'm about the affordable life. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.